Hi guys, this is Alex from Mason Lifestyle. I've gotten a couple of requests through YouTubes on the comments to please make view A for the Simplicity S9188 for the mask. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I've made a view B as a boy before and I'm gonna go ahead and link it up above if you wanna see that view. But again, today we're going to be making view A and it's got the gusset. So let me tell you about the pieces that you're going to need. You're going to need piece number one and this is the front and you're gonna to need to cut two of fabric you're going to need to cut two of contrast fabric. It could be the same type of fabric if you want to, if you wanna have a little fun with this, have a front and a back, but it can be the same type of fabric. And then you're going to need two pieces of interfacing. Again, for piece number one and also piece number two, which is the gusset. So again, make sure that you cut your fabric, you mark your notches, and that you interface your pieces. I have gone ahead and done that already, and I am going to go ahead and also um, mark, put in a link for the interfacing that I use. I use a fusible interfacing. It is a thinner type of fabric, and you cut the shape of your piece. Remember you have a left side and a right side, so make sure you don't cut two of the same. Um, and also a piece of the gusset. And then make sure that you make, um, you put in your dots and also any notches that you may need to have. Those are important that you mark those. Um, so, and then I also have, again, two of the interface and two of and then i have two of the other type of fabric again you can have some fun with this but and the pattern is also calling you for you to use a tightly woven fabric i suggest that you go to the store and you find 100 percent cotton fat quarter fabric it is usually almost like a quilting fabric get it there you need to find something that is tightly woven like a cotton fabric because if not, this is just gonna be a waste of time. You're gonna defeat the purpose of having these masks. So make sure you get the right fabric. If you have any questions, ask someone at the fabric or craft store to help you just select which type of fabric you can use for this. Just go over there to ask them what is some good fabric for a mask. I usually suggest um, cotton quilting fabric. It's 100% cotton and it's tightly woven and it will get the job done. Same thing for the interface. Just go to the store, ask where is the fusible interfacing. I will put a link below. So we are going to start. And then this pattern is asking you to use a quarter inch seam allowance. Usually we use five eighths, but this is a quarter inch seam allowance. So I want you to go ahead and grab those two, that notch and that you pin and that you stitch a quarter inch from this end. Don't forget the back stitch, the start, and at the end, so go ahead and do that now for both masks. And make sure you do that with right sides together. So go ahead and do that now. So I went ahead and stitched my interfaced and also my contrasting fabric. And you're going to do this the same for both sides. So now you're going to grab your gusset and with right sides together, you're going to find that notch, right? Those notches, you're going to pin. And I want you to stitch from that dot, from that dot, right? In your pattern piece, which is that dot right there. And I want you to stitch all the way down a quarter inch. Don't forget to backstitch at the start and at the end, you're going to do that for the interface pieces and also for the contrasting fabric. So go ahead and do that now. All right, so I went ahead and stitched my gusset on one side and now again, I'm gonna grab the other side. 
I'm gonna look for those notches and I'm going to pin. And we're going to do the same thing that we did on that left side. So you are going to stitch a quarter of an inch from that dot all the way down to this little end right there. So go ahead and do that. Once you do that, your mask is going to look like this. And I'm going to show you the other mask, but your mask is going to have the gusset attached. And I want you to go ahead and grab your iron and then you press the seams open. Okay, it's important that you press these seams open. So go ahead and do that now for both your interfaced fabric and also for your contrasting fabric. So go ahead and do that now. So we went ahead and I pressed my seams open. That's what that looks like for both the contrast fabric and the, for the interface fabric. And now we are going to grab these two and with right sides together. Okay, so the right side meaning what's going to be seen out. So you want to match those seams at the top. And you want to pin. And you want to match those raw edges. And you want to pin. And the pattern asks for you to go ahead and stitch a quarter of an inch seam allowance from this end all the way to the top, all the way around, and then to the other end. So go ahead and do that now. So I went ahead and I stitch a quarter inch. I'm gonna show you this side because it's probably easier to see. So I stitch a quarter inch away from the edge, quarter inch seam, right? And kept going all the way down. Now, the pattern's asking you for you to understitch. I don't understitch mask. Understitching means that you are going to stitch the seam allowance to this side of your fabric. I don't do that, I just press it. If you wanna understitch, you would go ahead and stitch that little seam allowance, right, to this piece of the fabric. And all that does, it just pretty much makes sure that that piece of fabric stays towards the back. You can do that. I don't do that for my mask. I just press it. It does the same job, at least for me it does. So once you do that, you also wanna go ahead and clip, or actually not clip, but you wanna make little notches and make sure that you do not uh, cut in your stitches. So again, I'm gonna do it from this side so you can see it better. So anywhere that you have those curves, go ahead and grab your scissors. You need to do this really carefully because you don't want to go through the stitches. If you go through the stitches, you're going to have to stitch this whole thing again. Right? And keep going all the way around any of these curves. So like right here, and the reason why you want to do this is so your mask can lay flat. All right, guys, now that we did that, I want you to go ahead and stitch the bottom, same thing, quarter inch 
away from the raw edge all the way around. Once we do that, we're going to go ahead and turn this. So go ahead and stitch a quarter of an inch away from the raw edge. Don't forget the back stitch at the start and all the way to the end. Go ahead and do that now. All right, guys, so I stitched at the top, I stitched at the bottom. Now, I'm going to go ahead and turn this. So just, again, we left those side of the mask open. So we're just going to turn this inside out or actually I should say we're going to turn put the inside in and the outside out So now I want you to give your mask a really good press. Make sure that you have this whole, all your seams turned in. So go ahead now and give your mask a press. Go ahead and do that now. So I went ahead and I pressed my mask, right? So that's that's the outside, this is the inside. So now you wanna create a casing to attach the elastic for your ears. So you're going to fold and then you're going to fold again. And you are going to stitch as close as possible to the edge. And again, you wanna create a casing so you can put in your elastic. So go ahead and do that now for both sides of your mask. So again, you want to turn, right? You want to turn and then turn it again. And you want to stitch. And then you want to again, turn and then turn again. And you want to stitch. Go ahead and do that now. So now that I stitched in, my casings, I'm going to grab elastic. The pattern calls for quarter inch elastic. I usually don't like using quarter inch elastic. I feel like it's a little bit wider. So I usually use an eighth of an inch elastic. And again, you can get this at your craft store or your fabric store. And usually I use a length of four inches and five eighths. That's what kind of works for us and our family. But um, if you don't have a seam gauge to measure it, you can always grab your measuring tape or any measuring tape and measure four and five eighths, which would be right there. And I would cut and I would loop it through. So let me show you. You can grab this and grab a safety pin. And just go ahead and pull it through. Might be a little tight, but you can get this through and just loop it through. And then you would have to stitch this together with needle and thread by hand. Or you can grab the elastic, the quarter inch elastic, and again, the same thing, loop it through, and you can get this also at the fabric or craft store, and get it through. Right? And measure it and see. Um, and then once you have it, go ahead and 
cut to length. Cut to length and stitch. And then you do that for both sides. So that's it. That is a your face mask. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that so along. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. As always, please go ahead and ring the bell and give it a thumbs up. See you next time. Bye.